Whoa. Yeah. Mic check. One, two. One, two, one, two. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Am I coming through? Let's go. We made it to another one. It's Friday, y'all. It's Friday. Yeah. Let's wrap this thing on up. Let's come on. Let's end out this this week right in 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 a, in, a, in a meaningful way. You know, we here. Huh, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. And check this out. Welcome to Elite. How you doing? My name is Jonathan Jones. Welcome to Elite. We here. We made it to another one. Could have been us that didn't make it, but God chose to see fit that we made it. You know what I'm saying? We still got to fit into that puzzle piece to complete that big picture. We here, we here, we here. We're going to keep working. We're going to keep working. We're going to keep working. We have purpose, and we're going to analyze and understand that purpose and analyze it and move forward towards it in a meaningful way. Woo! Man, has it been a beautiful week? It's been amazing weather-wise. It's been amazing. Like, in November, for it to be November, man, I am not tripping at all. Like, it's been beautiful. Today going to be crispy and it's friday oh the weather is acting right what come on now we boy the sun is shining good what man hey let's 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 go ahead and get that attitude right good morning my love how you doing good to see you Woo! yeah 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 we in this piece we are in here that's what i'm talking about we doing this thing we making it happen no matter what we got this come on we got it yeah, baby, we got it. Uh-huh. Yeah, we talking that talk. And now it's time to walk that walk. We done made the affirmations. And, you know, we done made the declarations. Well, you know what I'm saying? We speaking life into the situation. And now it's time for us to do it in a meaningful way according to our actions. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We ain't got no more time to play around, no more time to waste. This is what we need to do at a, at a meaningful pace, at a meaningful pace. Good morning, Ma. How you doing? Yeah, we in this piece. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's another one. We made it. It's another one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. And I hope you're excited as well. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. We appreciate you here at Elite. You know, we, we, we're just moving and grooving. We out here um, um, learning as as we go and we want to connect with you in a meaningful way so you can learn with us you know this is this is new to us this is not you know the norm and if you will we have to we have to be on uh, on 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 focus mode and make sure we do things in a, in a meaningful way stay diligent to our purpose and um and, and just act on that thing you know just action 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 and more action and we want to hit. We want to connect with you. You know what I'm saying? We're looking to connect. So let's go. Let's go. We appreciate everybody for uh, sharing the content, for interacting uh, with us on our page. Um, it's it's been it's been great. It's been great. It's been great. And um, it's Friday. It's Friday. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We going into the weekend, huh? What? We ain't playing. It's all the way gravy. We having a good time. We ain't. We ain't gonna be dull and stale. Nah, uh, uh-uh. uh. We we drinking from the from that 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 well, if you will, the well that water that produces life. You know what I'm saying? We own that. We we not playing around. And we said it. We said it on Wednesday. We had the pep rally on Wednesday. We was talking big. No matter what, we was talking big. No matter what. Yeah, I was up here yelling and stuff, tripping. No matter what, I, I needed to get, you know what I'm saying, get that thing down in my spirit, get it down in, inside of me, get my mind calibrated in a meaningful way, no matter what. And we're going to continue. We're going to continue. We're going to conclude it uh, on, on this week in terms of us making it happen. So Monday is make it happen. Uh, Wednesday, we we just following up on it. Good morning. How are you doing, sis? Good to see you. Wednesday, we here. Wednesday, we were here to follow up on it. And Friday, we want to conclude it in terms of the work week, the Monday through Friday. But we still have Saturday and Sunday to go, and we're still going to make it happen. That's it. Every week, it, it starts off on Monday. We're gonna make it happen, and we want to stay on track. Stay on track. 
And if I sound repetitive, it's because that is the whole point of it. I want us to make sure that we stay focused and stay on track. Now, if you have grown enough to say, you know what, I got this, move forward. Hey, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. And let somebody else know, hey, I got something that is helping me. I want you to, to look at it, too, and let them know about Elite. Hey, go ahead, and, go ahead and share that with them. Go ahead and tag them in the page. Tell them to go visit our website. Tell them to go download the app. Let them know, let them know, let them know. So right now, today is Friday, and we are looking to continue to, to make it happen and conclude that thing in a meaningful way and go into the weekend with a, 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 a great attitude, an amazing mindset, and, and, and to let us know we have what it takes. And we said it. We said it. If you, was on, if you watched the last video on Wednesday, we were talking that talk. No matter what, we was going in on that thing. Yeah, no matter what. No matter what. Boy, I try to tell you, boy, I'm like, man, God is good. I appreciate his purpose. I appreciate him shining on our lives. I appreciate him uh, um, protecting us with his mercy and, and and moving us along within his grace. It's been amazing. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm so grateful for life as a whole. There's nothing I need to complain about. I just love uh, uh we'll say i need a lunch yeah we we hey, we working on that and by the way that is a part of you see it in the captions if those that may be viewing this video live and or may have be may be viewing this video after it's over if you would like to donate to elite and you would like to uh, uh sow a seed you know give us a blessing all of the information is in the caption and we are at, we are in phase one we are in phase one we are starting from the ground level Ground zero. How you doing, Cuzzo? Good morning, Cuz. What's up, Tamise? We're starting at ground level, so we need your help. We need your support, and we want to. Um, um, in phase one, we're looking to um, raise ten thousand dollars. We want to all do outreach. We want to uh, get the merch line uh, uh, squared away and established, so we can get some things going. Uh, this isn't technically a long sleeve. I got the little black jump on the T-shirt. We got the little the first the first uh, draft shirts, if you will. And um, but we are looking to establish those funds to do a couple of different things. We're working right now um, as we speak on our financial breakdown in terms of the percentages of what we're looking to do with those funds. It will be totally transparent and open. You will have we'll have that up on the website. Uh, uh, within the week or so we're working on that right now and there's a lot of things that we're working on like I mean that's just it's blowing my mind I was just just thinking about how God has pushed us along and I, the reason why I'm, I had to say no matter what on Wednesdays because being able to if, if you are bold enough to step out on faith according to your purpose there are things that you're not going to know and there's things that you're going to be unaware of but once you get out there and once you start moving in a meaningful way they will come to your attention and you'll say wow we need to do this and I need to do that and so that's what we're doing right now at Elite here we're just we're, we're doing everything we can diligently to make sure we uh keep a, a meaningful presentation uh that we make sure we have all of our ducks in a row if you will we have all of our information together paperwork together you know all of the things that you need to have in line in in, in cemented in terms of the foundation of things and so that's what we're working on. We're making sure we're working on how to make uh, uh, how to uh, establish the enrichment groups and how to connect with individuals. You know, how this, all of the things that come with uh, a ministry and looking to connect with people. We're, we're looking, we're working, we're studying, you know, we're, we're creating. All of that is happening where we have to do it ourselves. You know, we have assistance uh, by ways of the platform. A distributor but uh, it's uh, the work is on us we have to get it done we have to do it all of the the wording the uh, all everything that you see in terms of our website and our app we have to do that that is that is our responsibility we can't pass the buck to someone pass the buck no that is our responsibility and, and my wife and i we're praying that we connect with other individuals that are like-minded that are that are willing to help us in terms of carrying on the work of the ministry so we can uh you know in a, in a sense delegate some things to hey okay if you want to do this if you want to do that and that's what we need to work on in terms of us uh getting the information being able to uh 
connect with people that have filled out some of the connect cards we appreciate those we appreciate that um a lot of stuff is happening man it's a lot of stuff happening and so we had that pep rally we did i'm telling you it was for me too because listen we're we're in this together it's not i know more than you it's not i'm bigger than you it's not oh i i'm here and i got the mic and all that no no it's it's me uh putting myself in a position to connect with you so you can say that man he's he's going through the same things that i've gone through or he He's expressing something that I'm dealing with. Hey, we're learning together. And even in this process, in this the infant stages of our ministry, we are learning how to do some things in a meaningful way. We're not ashamed to say, hey, we don't have it all the way perfected yet, but but we're working on it every day diligently in a meaningful way. So we want to pr pr continue to pursue excellence in everything that we do. And we appreciate everyone. We appreciate everyone. We appreciate everyone. Listen, we're going to get that merch line. I'm telling you, we're going to have a merch line up. We already got some schematics drawn up in terms of the, the, uh, the designs and different colorways and things of that nature. We just got to get the funds acquired. We, we, we got a lot of donations that are starting to come in and we appreciate everyone that has taken the time to donate to us. We, we, I'm telling you, we can't let you know uh, uh, enough how much we appreciate it. And we want to encourage others. Hey, if God put it on your heart to say, man, I want to support what they got going on. How can I help? A donation is always necessary and needed so we can continue to do some things in a meaningful way. Woo, it's Friday. It's Friday, y'all. What's up? What's going on with y'all? Let me know what's happening. What's going on with you? How you feeling? Is the weekend good to you? Is you going to be good to the weekend? Or is it, is it, is it, uh, I don't know. Because we got to stay on track. If you was there, if you watched the video, the last one, we had the pep rally. Woo! And we were screaming out no matter what. We were screaming out no matter what. We was pumped up. And now we're going to get right on into it because that's what we pur purpose to do is to make sure we do it according to our purpose in a meaningful way. Got a few things that we want to talk about today. And um, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Let's see where we at. Oh, man. God is moving and grooving, doing his thing. So check this out. If you were there, if we, if you watched it, if you watched it and you was on the broadcast, we was talking about no matter what. We was pumped. We was talking it like, yeah, no matter what. No matter what. Now it's time for us to conclude and follow up with that and, and, all, and let ourselves know it's time for some work. And if we said no matter what, if we spoke that and said, you know what, no matter what's going on, no matter what I'm dealing with, no matter what I'm going through, no matter this and no matter that, I'm going to stay focused. I'm going to stay determined. I'm going to allow my faith to, to, to keep me. And I'm going I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a move forward according to my purpose in a meaningful way, no matter what. Now, I have a question for us. The question is, what's our biggest obstacle? Ooh, we said no matter what, now it's time to get get to work. What is our biggest obstacle? You know what I'm saying? What uh, 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 what um uh what what is, what do you think our biggest hurdle that we have to clear now? We saying no matter what, we saying we we locked in, we submitted and we committed and we with it. Now, what is the biggest obstacle that we have to face? What is the biggest hurdle that we have to clear in terms of hurdles is where you, you know, you see the people running and they jump over them deals and you got to clear it. You got to get over it. If you clip it, it's going to slow you down. So we have to get over it and, 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 and move past it in a meaningful way, not get over it in terms of bypassing it. No, we have to clear it. And it's an obstacle that we have to get past and deal with. And the only way we are able to deal with it is if we clear it in a meaningful way. There's a lot of times we run into stuff or it's, it's coming on to us and we see it. We're moving forward towards it. And then, boom, we hit it and we get hurt. Boom, we hit it. We fall down. Boom, we hit it and, it. and it slows us up in our process. Good morning, mom. How you doing? So so what is our biggest obstacle? Ask, I'm ask a question right now. You can you can answer it in the comments, or you can just answer it to yourself. You can say, "Dang, what it, what is it that I know I need to face?" We said no matter what. 
We done already said it. We, it was exciting when we said it. We, I didn't say that to get you pumped up. But I needed to get it in, in our minds to understand that, hey, we need to focus and commit it to something. And if we said no matter what, now it's time to take that no matter what and, and cash it in with action. So what is our biggest obstacle? We know a lot of the times we know some of the cases, there's things that we probably don't know in terms of, I don't know what I have to face or what I'm dealing with or what I'm going through. Maybe we'll find out. But a lot of our situations, we already know what that obstacle is. We know it. We, we see it. We didn't, we didn't bypass it. We didn't tap out of the race. We, we, we didn't stood to the side and say, you know what, I'm going to just stand over here because I don't want to have to deal with that. Or I'm going to go over here because I don't want to have to deal with that. But what is our biggest obstacle? We didn't we already said no matter what. We didn't say no matter what. Now it's time to get to work. What is our biggest obstacle? What, what do we have to, what do we have to uh, uh, face in terms of uh, what do we have to get pass or get over what is that thing that is standing in our way that we have to be able to clear to 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 jump over in a meaningful way that ain't stopping us in terms of our progress then we have all of the, the ability to deal with it because if we can't get over it then we can't get past it so we need to we said no matter what come on come on we said no matter what we had the pep rally we talked about no matter what. God, I, God, I'm with you no matter what. I'm, 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 I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that no matter what. I'm, I'm going to stay focused no matter what. We was talking big. Now it's time to, for us to, to implement what we say in a meaningful way. So what's up? Where are we at? Where are we at? Let's, let's, let's do that assessment. No, wh what is the obstacle that is in front of us? What do we what do we know we got to deal with? We, what do we know that we've been putting off? We, we've been we've been putting it aside. We, 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 we've been putting it down. We've been ignoring it or we've been standing right in front of it and saying, I'm, I'm going to pretend like you're not going to be there no more. You know how we stand in front of stuff and look at it like it's going to go away. We just looking at it and, and it's looking at us. What obstacles that we are, 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 are we facing? The big ones, though. I ain't talking about them little bitty old little ones that we try to say, oh, that's an obstacle. No, that ain't nothing but a, a bug. You can step on a bug. The obstacles, that big thing that we and you and I don't want to face in a meaningful way. We'd be like, dang, I got to deal with this. What's, what, what, is we, what are we going through right now in our lives and we dealing with it? And it's, and it's in our way. We have the ability to get over it, to, to, to over to excuse me, bypass it, but we don't want to do that because we, we don't want to face it. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I said it already. All right, let, let me walk, get into these notes. Now, are we going to go out and be honest with ourselves and uh, face the very thing we know we have to deal with? Are we going to be honest with ourselves? Come on, man. Are we going to be? We, we usually know what it is. Are we going to be honest with ourselves and say, you know what? I'm dealing with this. This is the very thing that I need to see to, to get past, to get over, to, to clear in terms of a hurdle. This is the hurdle in front of me that I have to be able to clear. That is the analogy we're using. If you ever seen a track uh, team, there's the sprinters. There's the long distance individuals. There's the shot put. There's the high jump. Uh, um, there's that big metal, that big old metal ball they throw, and then there's the hurdlers. There's the the one ten and three hundred. And track, I ran track, and I was a hurdler. And so you see them jumping over those little those ops, those those um objects. They just ha, uh, ha, uh, ha, uh, ha, uh, ha, they moving, uh, 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 hopping them things, going. Them, those are obstacles, and they going, and they making time in a meaningful way. So I'm using that analogy in, in order for us to understand what obstacle is in our way. Like they're sprinters that have to jump over obstacles, and right now we're moving forward in life, and there are obstacles that are in our way, and some of the time or most of the time we run into them they impede our progress we, we 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 get tangled up with them we we fall into somebody else's lane we're trying to avoid them or we we don't even allow ourselves to run the race in a meaningful way those hurdles are something that we have to overcome and conquer in a meaningful way what obstacle is in our way are we going to be honest with ourselves we're going to be honest with ourselves Come on, it's Friday. We're going to stay on track. We ain't, we not, we, we not playing. We're we going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. Because if you was with us 
couple of weeks back, I was going and talking about a lot of things. Now here we are. We about to get down to the meat and potatoes and really challenge ourselves in a meaningful way because it's cool to do that. You know, Wednesday I was, you know, hey, you got a diss and no matter what. And, uh, and it was like, yeah, all right, yeah. But now it's time for us to do some things. And so you do you have what it takes? Because you do, but are you going to actually utilize it to do what you need to do? Come on, we ain't tripping. Let's go. So a lot of the times we know what it is most of the time, but we ignore it. And we ignore its ability to stop us until we approach it and we realize we have to overcome it. Yeah, yeah. In terms of that obstacle, a lot of the times, that's why I said, are we going to be honest with ourselves? And face the very thing we know we have to deal with. A lot of the times we'd be like, no, I'm good. You know how we do. I'm good. Or I don't have nothing I got to overcome. I'm fine. But we'll tell, we'll tell that to other people because we don't want, you know, we ain't trying to look bad or look weak or any of that. We, we don't want to seem out of place. We don't want to be the ones that's dealing with something. So we, we don't want to be honest with ourselves. So, so this is what I'm asking. This is the, the question I'm posing to us. And, and excuse me, the statement, we know what it is most of the time. In terms of the obstacle, we know what it is. We said no matter what. Now, are we going to face that obstacle now? We said no matter what. Before, we was looking over here. The obstacle is here, but we looking over here and pretending like it ain't there. You know how we be ignoring stuff, but it's right there in our in our peripheral, and it's like, oh, you ain't, you ain't going to bother me. <laughs> we looking over here. We looking around it. We looking down. We don't want to look at it, though. We don't want to look at it because that's the very thing that's going, ooh, oh, it breaks me down. Oh, I don't know. But we don't want to deal with it. And so and so we don't want to look at it and, or deal with it until we get up on it. We, we don't want to acknowledge it until we get up on it. We ignore it until we get up on it. And we recognize this ability to stop us once we approach it. Once we get up on it, we recognize its ability. Not me. Now, I'm not telling you that it's going to stop you, but I'm saying it has the ability to stop you. It has the ability to stop me if I and you and we are not dealing with it in a meaningful way. We give it power because we pretend like it doesn't matter until we get up on it. We recognize, dang, I got to do something about this. I got a, the elephant in the room. There you go, ma. That's what I'm talking about. We up there, we just pretending like, oh, it ain't nothing. Uh, hey, guys, and people, we, we, you know, we know how we do. We come on, <laughs> come on. And we approach it, and, and we recognize we got to overcome it, and then we put ourselves at a disadvantage by pretending that it ain't there until it's too late. Oh man. So let so check this out. I've been I've already been asking us. Let's do the self-assessment and honestly look at what it is we need to overcome. Let's do the self-assessment and honestly look at what it is that we need to overcome. Come on, let's think about it. Let's think about it. Let's do that self-assessment. Let's check it out. Let's think about it. I done talked about some of the areas here. Here are some of the areas we need to search. And and this is just some of the areas. And we talked about this. Number one, our pain. Number two, our doubts. Number three, our insecurities. Number four, our emotions. Number five, our desires. These are some of the areas that we need to search and look and, and really see and find out. You know what? I got an obstacle in, in, in one of those areas. Or maybe all of those areas. Who knows? I don't know. You know better than I do. But we don't, we don't want to be honest with ourselves and face that. We want to be. We want to put it on Front Street and act like it ain't bothering us, and it, it ain't. It ain't something that that's that's that that we have to deal with. Come on, man. Come on now. Come on. Let's go. Our pain. Mm, I don't like. I, I've been hurt, and I, I ain't gonna be hurt no more. So I'm gonna pretend as if my my pain is no longer a, a, an obstacle because now I'm gonna be numb to every situation when I need to be able to feel. Uh, 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 my doubts uh, I, I feel a certain way and I think a certain way and now I don't want to acknowledge that this doubt is probably going to stop me so I don't want to deal with it I'm going to pretend like it ain't there come on man come on we dealing with it we're going to deal with it come on we have doubts we have doubts come on alright check this out our insecurities <laughs> that soft spot that little soft spot that little tender spot 
We talked about it. We said no matter what. We said they ain't going to be in charge of us. They ain't going to distract us. None of that. So we got insecurities, and we don't want to acknowledge these insecurities because we don't want to be seen as weak. It's an obstacle. It's something we got to deal with. It's something we got to face. It's something we have to be able to champion and say, you know what? What's up, baby? What you want to do? I've been working on getting over you and getting past you in a meaningful way. I'm ready to go. But we we don't want to set ourselves up. So we pretend as if uh, we I don't have no insecurities. And we approach things based on those insecurities and we overdo it. Come on. Come on, them insecurities. Okay. Our emotions. Come on, oh, hey, come on, that, that, that's one of my things, my, my emotions, I have insecurities, I have doubts, you understand, I have pain, but my emotions, ooh, wait, I don't want to get over myself, because how I feel, my emotions, we, our emotions usually get the best of us, that is an obstacle that we, we, we know we need to work on, and we got to overcome, we said no matter what, but now it's time to do the work, and, and a lot of my setbacks are because I allow my emotions to get the best of me, versus me taking charge of my emotions, <laughs> yeah buddy, come on now, our emotions, come on, I, I, I'm sensitive, you know what? I, I I I I care so much, and I get damaged, and you know I feel, and I and how I feel, and what are our emotions? All right, our desires, what we desire to do, how we desire to do it. Where did we get the root? Where did, where is the root of those desires? Where did the root of those desires come from? Good morning, sis. How you doing? Good to see you. Those desires, we we have these big desires, but we don't recognize. And analyze, you know what, what, what made me have this desire? What, what, what made me want to want this so bad? Come on, it's an obstacle. And, and, and a lot of the times our desires are formed based off of, based off of us uh, having expectations from our family, our parents, or our guardians. Uh, 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 from our family members, our aunts, uncles, or whoever is around us in our immediate family. Um, our, our, our peers and society. We so we 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 want to fit in so bad. We want to be accepted so bad. So we build a, a desire, not according to our purpose, but according to us being able to be looked at and be accepted. And, and we want we want to make them proud. We want to let them know that I got it too. We want to let them know I can do it too. We want to let them know, oh, they didn't they they ain't gonna hurt me. They didn't stop me. I'm gonna make sure I make it and make it big. And you know all of that good old talk we talk. And we build these desires. And those things are something we got to just get out of the way of. They're obstacles in our way. We have built it so we can be able to be at peace because we think once we please them that we're going to be happy. But we'll recognize once we make it to that point and they, and they say, oh, good job. And we like, dang, I done worked all this to, do, to get a good job. I thought you was going to be proud of me. Or I th Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Our desires. That a lot of the times they get in their way and a lot of times they're our weakness because we feel we have to we got to have it we got to do it so where are we at where, where are we at where where is our obstacle at those are some of the areas those are some of the i just named some of the five areas your yours may not be in those areas but in a lot of the times it's in those areas so i just named those five areas so so what are we gonna do what are we gonna do Huh? What are we going to do? Are we, we said no matter what, are we going to face what we need to face according to us? Because we, we have to do that assessment. We have to look into us and we have to look into the mirror. We have to look in our eyes, look in our soul, look in our understanding and look in our mind and say, you know what? This is what I've been dealing with. And, and this, this right here is one of my biggest obstacles. I'm, I'm going to use me for an example. One of my biggest obstacles is getting out of my own way. Getting out of my own way. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, 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 man, I'm just, I just love to just get in my own way and think that I can do it. You know what? Forget it. I, I'm, I'm going I'm to do it how I want to do it. And I get in my own way versus allowing the process to happen in a meaningful way so I can know when it's time for me to and when it's time for me to stop because of my emotions. Because I want to protect the tender parts of me. My emotions are like, they, I don't want to be hurt. I don't want to be damaged. And then the pain and then the doubt. And then the insecurities flare up. But...
And so I picked those areas because a lot of us deal with that. So I want to be honest. I'm a, are you going to be honest with yourself? I'm going to be straight up. I'm going to be straight up. I get in my own way. You, I overthink. You know, I have great intentions. My mind, I'm a critical thinker, and I know, okay, if I muse and think about it, this and that, and then I get up and start doing stuff that I ain't supposed to be doing. And then I get in my own way. But I think that I'm helping myself. I'm thinking that I'm helping to protect my emotions. I'm thinking I'm helping to protect my insecurities. I'm thinking that I'm, 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 I'm proving my doubts wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking that I'm protecting my pain. Come on, baby. And I'm thinking that, okay, not recognizing that this is just a desire for me to do and not a, a, a purpose that I have to do. And so I get in my own way. And I get in my own way big time. And, I don't, and I've done it to the point where I have paralyzed my abilities and paralyzed my capabilities and functionalities. And I've just been stuck because I want to get in my own way. And then I don't want nobody to help me. Yeah. Getting in my own way. I'm talking about me. You know how to fill in the blank for yourself. You be honest with yourself because we're going to have a tough conversation today. What, what is the obstacle that you're dealing with? You said no matter what. I said no matter what. Now, are we going to fix um, um, uh, ourselves in a, in a position to help us deal with it? Come on now. Come on, there is a there is a whole bunch. And we want to pretend like, you know what? I You know, you know how we do. We go get prayed for. We think we received the blessing and we think the obstacles are obsolete now. And we think, oh, I'm okay now. I'm fine. It's okay now. I've, I'm all right. I'm okay. And, and you know, you jacked up. You, we know we jacked up. We all messed up. But we don't want to deal with it. And we limping through the process trying to go through it. You feel me? Come on, let's be honest with ourselves. Let's be honest with ourselves. What is that obstacle? What do we need to overcome now? We said no matter what, because check this out. When you say no matter what, you, you open yourself up to get tested in that area. You talking that talk. We was in the pep rally. Yeah, no matter what. Yeah, let's go. The emotions was charged. You felt empowered. You was like, yeah, no matter what. Now it's time to get in the game. And we get in the game and we don't even know the plays. <laughs> we don't know the plays we have an opposition that we got to face we don't know the plays we don't know the proper technique we don't know the, how to approach it to overcome it to, to because it's a battle we got we we got to be able to overcome we have all the abilities but we ain't we are not positioning ourselves we're not helping ourselves we're hurting ourselves pretending like oh i got this and we just gonna swag our way through it but when we get in the game and and and, and that that opposition start hitting us in areas that we didn't even know it knew how to do we like oh my god how did oh wait wait a minute we try to call a timeout we only got so many timeouts you ever seen a game play you only got so many timeouts you're gonna have to face it <laughs> you're gonna have to face it and there's a time limit when the time is out Whoever got the score that is the highest will succeed. And a lot of times our obstacles succeed over us because we don't want to face it. We want to pretend like we got it. We want to talk that talk. We want to tell people that are there to help us, there to connect with us, to, to guide us through that we can connect with them and we can learn a strategy, learn uh, some techniques, learn a, a way effectively how to overcome it. But we don't want to do that. I got it. I got it. I got this. I got this, partner. No, you ain't you ain't me. You ain't gonna do it like me. I got it. We are right, and then we get in the game and, and we and our obstacles take us out every time. We we own six against our obstacles. We own six. We ain't even maybe you one and five. Maybe you didn't know maybe you conquered one, but the rest of them you didn't get beat down. Bop, 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 boom, but then boom back. Hit and you like Oh, man, I got to deal with this. And to the point where you try to ignore it, we try to ignore it. We act like it does not exist. We said no matter what. We said on Monday we're going we, we gonna to make it happen. And now we want to stay on track. Now it's time for us to do the hard work. All right. So check this out. Let's start working on our, on our approach now. We said no matter what. Let's start working on our approach to the obstacle 
now. Let's stop waiting till it's too late when it's time to face it. Because we know, I know, you know, at some point we're going to have to face that obstacle. And we try to look this way and we try to look that way. We want to look up and we want to look at it like it's stupid. Like, oh, you still here? And the obstacle like, yeah, I'm still here. I'm going to get you too. I already know I'm going to jack you up. We get attitude. We get mad. We get mad because we don't want to deal with our stuff and or our junk and or our problems and or our pains, our emotions, our doubts, our insecurities. We don't want to deal with those things and we get an attitude. And guess who we lash out on? We lash out on people that love us the most. <laughs> the ones that's trying to help us in the area. We get mad. And they want to help us. We think they don't get it. They, we think they don't understand. They don't know what we're going through, what we're dealing with. But we're people. We are all people. I'm a person. It's funny. I ain't, I'm not dissing my sisters. You know how women say, it's a woman thing. And I'm like, I got feelings too. Now, I can't have no baby, but I have feelings too. Or men. You know how men, oh, just what men do. It's a man thing. And sisters be like, brother, I have feelings too. You don't understand. And they use that. Let you know, if we can have a baby, then we can go through anything. You know what I'm saying? Come on. We act like we got it all figured out. We act like, oh, we big and bad. But we really don't want to honestly approach it in a meaningful way. And so let's start right now. Let's start right now. People want to say you don't understand and I don't understand. You're right. I'm not you. you not me. So our, our, our situations are different based on us being individuals. But in terms of us being people in life, going through something, our emotions our pain, our doubts, our insecurities, our desires are on the same playing field, on the same level. We just have to approach things in a different manner. So how are we approaching our situation now? Whatever, whatever you category you fit in, you're a male, you're a female, you're, you, you're married, you're single, you know what I'm saying, you're divorced, you're a widow, whatever category you fit in. You, maybe you're a teenager, maybe you're a young adult, maybe, you know what I'm saying, whatever category you fit in. According to your situation, you have an obstacle that you're faced with right now and you don't want to deal with it until it's time to deal with it. And you don't want to acknowledge it until it's time to acknowledge it. And then you want to get all up in arms and all oh, dang, I got to do something. I got to. And then you try to make something up. It's not going to work. You ain't going to finesse your way out of this. You got all the talent and all the potential. You have all the ability. But if you don't take the time to approach the situation in terms of the obstacle in a meaningful way and make sure you practice what you need to preach and make sure you do what you need to do to be ready, when it's time to get in the game, you are going to get obliterated. You're going to get knocked off your block. Because in the pep rally, it's cool. We, we can talk all that talk when we in the pep rally. We ain't in the game. We just over here talking like, yeah, woo, yeah. You know how we do. We get we were just on Wednesday. I was talking big. No matter what, no matter what, no matter what. And people was like, yeah, go. That's what I'm talking about. Now it's time for us to get in the game in terms of us facing our obstacles. Are you going to use that same energy in terms of your approach to deal with it? Ooh, come on. No matter what, let's start. Let's start working on our approach right now. We're thinking about it. Now, what is my obstacle? I'm saying mine is getting out of my own way and being able to connect with people in a meaningful way because I isolate myself because I've been burnt enough, I've been damaged enough, and people will throw you under the bus just as fast as they say they love you. They with you one minute, and as soon as you do something that they don't like, they're going to throw you away. And so what my problem is, I get in my own way because I'm going to guard me to let people know you're not, about to, you're not throwing me away. If, if anybody going to throw me away, it's going to be me. You ain't going to turn your back on me. You ain't going to diss me. None of that. I do that. So I'm, I'm going to isolate myself and stay in a position of defense to make sure that I'm looking out. I'm looking. And it's people that want to connect with me. And, and it's not that I'm and that's, I'm always open. I'm always open. But I'm looking like, OK, you can I, you can come right here and let's let's see what you're going to do. Let's see what you, you you ain't doing nothing. Next defense move. You feel me? I'm open. I'm still open. I'm, I, I'm going to give you a chance. But instead of me connecting with you you're gonna have to go through the the, the vetting process if you will you gonna have to feel like if you ever had a job where you had to go to five interviews if it's a regular job you done went to one interview 
You ever had a job, you had to go through five interviews, and then after you make it to the five interviews, you got three more interviews after that with some other people. You, and it's a vetting process, and that's how I am. I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? What, what's going on? What, 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 what's going on here and what's going on there? I'm looking at this and I'm looking at that. How you do? What's, what's, your, what's, 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 in, what's, what's your way? What's your approach? How you do? That's me. I'm talking about me. You can fill in the blanks for you. Because I want to protect myself. I done, I done been hurt. I done been betrayed. I done been thrown away. I have been dis dismissed. I'm telling you, left alone in the cold without a kiss. <laughs> All of that. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> and so now I'm like, you know what? Hey, if, 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 if I go down, it's going to be because of me. I'm not, about to, I'm not putting my fate in nobody else's hands. I'm not connecting with nobody that ain't really trying to connect with me. I don't do the fake stuff, so I'm not about to kiss up to you. I'm not about to say things that make you feel, if I let you know, if I express it to you, that's how I really feel. But a lot of times people be thinking you going through the motions like they go through the motions. You, you be thinking... They be thinking, oh, okay, he's saying this because he just want to say it because he want to get a leg up. No, this is how I feel. So I have to protect myself. And so I stay in the way and I look and I'm looking and I'm watching and I'm studying. That's all I do. I study your movements. I study what you do. I study how you do. I study what you don't do. I study what you say. I study what you don't say. But I'm still going to have a smile and say, hey, how you doing today? You feel me? Because I see you coming. I'm not going to be disappointed because I am preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. And a lot of the times that puts me at a disadvantage because that's not how everybody works. But because I like to stay in my own way, uh, that's an obstacle for me. I'm going to let you know, hey, I'm right here. I'm watching you. but I'm, I see you. It, 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 it's all good. You, you don't owe me nothing. No man owes you anything. And I know that. I accept that. It's okay with me. But it's some things that I I just need to be able to do in, in terms of me getting out of my way and open up fully. I, I, I open up halfway. I'm open enough so you can see me and I see you. You know, you ever somebody ever come to your door and you got remember them chain locks and all that. You look through the peephole and then you, they knock, 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 knock. And then you open the door and they see a piece of you and you see all of them and you kind of peek it through the door and you like, what's up? That's how I do. I'm peeking through the door at you. You see me. I see you. I'm open enough, but I'm open just enough to defend myself. If you act stupid, I got something on this other side of this door that's going to bang you all the way out. That's how I do. How do you do? What, what do you do to not protect, to, to, excuse me, to protect yourself? How you doing? You can fill in the blanks. I'm just talking about me. What is it that you need to face in terms of your obstacles? Whew. Come on. Come on, we, 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 let's, let's start working on our approach now. Let's master our techniques now. We get, we, get, we get to the point where we ignore it until it's time to deal with it. it it's a cycle. We know every time around this year, I got to go through this. Or every time around uh, this week or during the week, I got to deal with this. And we don't work on our, we don't master our techniques. We finesse our way through. We ignore, we, you know, if you ever been in practice, if you ever played any sports and we, we were in practice and the athlete that was, you know, athletically gifted, they can just show up and just do amazing things and, and they can just do whatever. But the technique was off when it got into the game. You can play all that stuff. You can do all that stuff. But somebody is working on their technique. So you doing all this great stuff and they scooping you and finding your finding out your discrepancies in the and the chinks in your armor, and you see them like, dang, usually they they so good, but what's wrong? What's going on? You can't rely on just talent. You can't just rely on the little skills that you got. You can't rely just on your gift. You got to work on your techniques, and you got to get down to the fundamentals to break stuff down in a meaningful way to help you. And a lot of the times, we have enough talent and a big gift and all of this, and we talk big and walk big, and we think that's just going to be enough to carry us. It's not. Because an obstacle is coming, and it's going to come to us in a meaningful way. And we think we're going to finesse. We finesse him. We finesse her. We finesse them. But that obstacle, we can't finesse that. We're going to have to really deal with it. We're going to have to really deal with it. And we done lied to everybody, including ourselves, thinking, I can get away with it. I ain't got to practice. I ain't got to study. I just got what it takes. Everybody done told me I got what it takes. Everybody done told me, uh, worship me, oh, you're so good. And we believe it versus us understanding, you know what, I know I got what it takes, but now let me perfect my gift. Let me work on my techniques. Let me work on my fundamentals. Let me work on my ability to approach things in a meaningful way because it's not enough. 
and we got to be honest with ourselves. But we get all big, high and mighty. We don't want to be. We don't want to be humble. We want to be prideful. We got this. I got this. And I, what? What obstacle? You crazy? You know how people talk big? Uh, don't nothing bother me. I'm, I'm. Don't nothing bother me. Something's bothering all of us. Some bigger, some smaller, some this, some that, but something is touching us in some kind of way. And once we get to it, that thing hit us in a meaningful way. Oh, we get, we get, our whole world gets shaken. And it's because we're not mastering our techniques now. We said no matter what. Maybe you see the obstacle on the far off. You know it's coming, but you want to play around and pretend like it ain't there until it get up on you. Once that thing get up on you like this, oh, you oh, okay. You looking at it? You looking? You and you start looking around, looking to see if somebody gonna help you out. No, it's just you, you and that obstacle. You and that obstacle, you start praying, God, can you please, please, God. And you then you you try to be all spiritually deep for those that know how to pray and been taught how to do all that stuff. Oh, God, can you? And, and it's the devil. <laughs> it's the devil. No, it's an obstacle that you got to face and deal with. But you don't want to do that. We, we want to pretend like it don't matter until it comes to us. And then we try to just make up stuff to do to try to get over it and try to, you know, tape it up. And once that thing beat us down, we get beat down. It gone by us. We lost. We, we hurt. We hurt. We, we limping on. We limping on. And, and what do we do? Somebody come up to us and see it. Well, what's wrong with you, bro? What's, you okay, sis? Leave me alone. Mind your business. What you talking about? They ain't, they ain't did nothing but ask you a question. We get an attitude with them. We go off on them. We, we, we use whatever excuse we can to take that energy out on them versus the energy that we wanted to do to overcome that obstacle, and we take it out on people. Take it out on the kids. The kid didn't do nothing but drop the little cup. It has some water in it, and we giving the little boy a whoop and the little girl. We tearing them up. Wait a minute. You... You wasn't big and bad when it came to your obstacle. You want to take it out on the kids? You, your brother, your sister, maybe your wife, your husband, your spouse, your significant other. They just asked you a question. They made a mistake. They didn't know. And they you supposed to know this. And why, why, why we, and we tear their head off over nothing because we feel like we have to exude that energy because our obstacle kicked our butt. Now we got to kick somebody's butt. Come on, we got to deal with some stuff. We really got to deal with some stuff. And we got obstacles in our way. And we said no matter what. And so now we got to master our technique. We have to utilize our responsibilities according to our choice now. Now I have a choice. You recognize you have a choice. And no longer am I going to just sit by and not uh, do what I need to do according to my lifestyle, my ways, my conduct, my behavior. I'm not going to sit by no more. Now I'm going to actually get involved and I'm going to use the responsibility that I have been given according to my choice so I can work on my techniques and I can work on my approach and do what's necessary according to the fundamentals. When somebody brings the fundamentals out, we feel like they disrespecting our mentality. We feel like they, oh man, what do I look like a little kid? No, baby, we need to work on the, the simple techniques now. You know better, but you don't do better. And then when somebody want to say, hey, let's 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 start over now. Let's let's reshape our our approach to things. And we get disrespected. We feel like our intelligence has been insulted. What you mean? I got to start over. And do you know who I am? Do you know what I do? Do you know how big I uh, you know how we do like you too big and too bad to work on some things that's going to help you? When you didn't have nothing or when you wasn't when you was trying to get it or when you was trying to you know how you once we get to a certain point, we believe that we are untouchable. Come on, we are not. We got obstacles that's coming our way. They testing us every day. Some people get broken down by them and some people know how to just pretend like ain't nothing going on. Everybody got different situations. But those obstacles are still there. Either sometimes we got them in our subconscious and we pretend like nothing's going on. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm fine. No, let's deal with some stuff. Let's start. Let's let's start on over. Let's let's start back at A, B, C, D. I know my alphabet, but yeah, you do. But you 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 got to remember how to arrange the pronunciation of each each letter and now we got to start all over let's work on our technique one two 
three, four. I know my numbers, but but you keep on messing up, though. You 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 all out of whack. Let's start over. Let's learn some proper techniques and learn some proper a- approach, and let's do what we need to do. Come on, yeah, that's it. We gotta look in the mirror. We gotta be straight up. We gotta be straight up. Let's make an honest effort to choose to actually get it done now. Check this out. This is what we do. We, we <laughs> this is funny because I do this a lot too. We, we, we say, we say, you know what? I'm going to deal with it. But we really don't mean it. We're just saying that because that, that feels good. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to do it. But, but let's make an honest effort to choose to actually get it done now. But a lot of the times, this is what we do. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to face it. But honestly, we don't really mean that because we just wanted to, to, like I said, on Wednesday at the pep rally, no matter what, it sound good. So I might as well just say it. (laughs) No matter what. (laughs) And then when I get to myself, no matter what, what though? (laughs) I'm going to do it. You know how we kind of, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. But honestly, deep down, like deep, 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 deep down, we don't really want to do it. And we're really not going to do it. We we done went and bought all the material. We done went and linked up with all the people. We done got all the stuff. And we like, we're going to do it. I done went and bought the equipment. I said I was going to exercise six days a week now. I'm going to do this. I done went and bought the tape. I bought the machine. Two days in, I'm done. I'm finished. And I ain't really going to take any more steps. We're not going to do it. Come on. Let, let, let's, let, let, listen. Let's make an honest effort. To choose to actually get it done now. You know how we just procrastinate. We say, I'm going to commit to it. I'm, this is it. I'm going to do it. All right, when are we going to stop? When are we going to start? We're going to start in an hour. Wait, in an hour. Wait, I need at least two weeks because <laughs> we really weren't serious. L- wait, let me get ready to get ready to get to it. You know how we do? We, we, we come up with a million, a million and one excuses to not actually do what it is. We said we want to do, but we said it, but we didn't mean it in our hearts. I was talking about prayer to God and us dialing the right numbers, and we, we say it, but we ain't really meaning it. Our heart really don't mean it, but our words say that we mean it. Like, I no matter what if somebody that said no matter what and it was something that came that 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 usually disrespect them and they felt disrespected versus them saying you know what no matter what my emotions don't matter and i'm gonna deal with this in a meaningful way they they said no matter what something came to mess with them and they was like mad and then they got super mad and it was like somebody was like i thought you was talking about no matter what the other day and then they really get you know how you know how <laughs> we when we feel we get antagonized and somebody heard us talking all big and they was like, I thought you was, you was just, oh, you was just on Wednesday talking about no matter what. And now here it is Thursday. You got a big old attitude and now it's Friday and you want to fight somebody. I thought you was going to change. What happened to the change? <laughs> That's because we need to be honest with ourselves and make a meaningful choice to actually get it done now. We can't be procrastinating. We can't be using excuses. We can't lie to ourselves and we don't need to be lying to people. Let's do it for real. Let's do it for real. We just say it because it sounds good. We say it because it fits the, the, the criteria of the, the situation right then. But when we walk away with our little old bag and when we got all of our stuff, we like, I don't even know why I bought all this stuff. I don't even know why I did that. I don't even know why I said that. I don't even know why I committed to it. I just, why did I do that? And we recognize like, dang, now I got to pretend that I'm trying to do it. Somebody come back the next day. Remember, no matter what, and you got to make the face like, yeah, no matter what, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no matter what, yeah. all right, who, good Lord, God, talk it out, shoot, I ain't, I don't even know what, what am I talking about, no matter what, I don't even know what no more, what was I talking about, why did I even, what was I thinking, and stuff start coming our way, it start the challenges, we released it no matter what, but we ain't ready at all for nothing, at all, we not, we just be, oh, I don't got time, God, why is you doing this to me, why now you attacking me, God, you just said no matter what. <laughs> I've been there, I've done that I've been there, I've done that I said it, but I really didn't mean it Come on <laughs> Come on <laughs> Oh my goodness 
So let let let's let's make an honest effort to choose to actually get it done now. The next one, let's stop waiting until it's too late. Let's stop waiting until it's too late. Because a lot of the times we want to make our minds up when we know it's an hour away. It's right there on us. You ain't got no time to do nothing <laughs> in an hour, especially if it's meaningful and it's a major deal. We want to wait till it's too late. It's, it's on your doorstep now. Now you want to get ready? You want to prepare now. Now it's coming. You want to prepare now. You want to crash cram. You want to crash cram and act like, oh, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it now. Now I can do it. You want to come on now. What is the obstacle? Come on now. Let, let's, let's stop waiting to the last minute. You know what that does? Uh, that, <laughs> that only leaves us at a disadvantage. That, that that makes things worse <laughs> because when it when we when we try to pretend like okay I didn't study I didn't did it but now I'm ready I'm ready now now I'm ready and we go through it we get whooped and now we get we get we 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 hurt even more because we're left at a disadvantage because of us unwilling to choose to be honest about how we're gonna do it and us choose to work on our technique our us to choose to to utilize our, our responsibility according to our choice us us choosing to do what we need to do to make it happen right then we 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 want to wait till it's too late. That's what procrastination does. It just, it just, it really just, it, it robs us of our own time. We rob ourselves of the time necessary. It was given to us specifically so we can deal with it right then. Right then. But you know what? We just sit back. Oh, I'm going to do it. Day one go by. I'm going to do it. Day two go by. I'm going to do it. Day three go by. I'm going to do it. Day four go by. Oh, I just need another, a little more time. Two weeks go by. You, you had at least six months to get yourself prepared for the challenge of your life. Uh, 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 a month out. Okay. I'm a, let me, let me try to stand up. I ain't even did nothing yet. Two weeks out. <laughs> okay. Let me, a day is coming. We looking at the clock. Okay. All right. Now you want to do what you had six months to do and prepare for. Now I'm I'm going crazy. I'm yelling at people. Watch out! You supposed to be helping me. I gotta work on this thing. Ooh. And we we doing all the stuff that we said we was gonna do, but procrastination held us back. And now we know we gotta hurry up and do something because now we gotta face this. And now that's only putting us at a more disadvantage. We was already gonna get whooped. But now we're going to approach it as if I got it all together because we cram all that stuff and think that it's going to help us. We got it. Now we got it and we go at it and then we look and we get smashed out the way. And we mad now. Oh, we mad. The world better look out. They better not even call us. They better not come by. <laughs> nobody, nobody better make a mistake around us. You better walk on eggshells and ticky tippy toe because I am upset. I'm infuriated because it ain't go my way. I, I, I said I was, oh, <laughs> come on, sis. Hey, that is okay. We learning to get better. We're learning so we can grow, so we can advance because this is what I deal with too. I ain't, I ain't exempt because this is what I'm going through right now. I'm learning to deal with it right now. I'm, I'm learning to see how to mature and to utilize that maturity so I can deal with these situations that are obstacles in my life and I'm learning to get through them now versus me just pretending and procrastinating and looking over here and looking over there, looking up and looking down instead of looking right at the deal that I need to deal with. Woo wee! <clears throat> so listen, uh oh, this is this is another one. This is another one. Let's stop being reactive. And start being proactive. <laughs> Let's stop being reactive. We we just want to react. Here it come. Let's react. Boom. You hit me, I hit you. Versus me me training myself to be ready. I'm ready. Oh yeah. No, I'm about to I'm about to be ready for this thing. No, uh, -uh. you ain't about to you ain't messing with me no more. No, we gonna be ready. But we like to be reactive. And a lot of the time that doesn't help. That's that that points to that disadvantage that I was talking about. We we want to be reactive and, and, and think that that's going to help us. That ain't going to do nothing. That's going to keep your little nose above the water versus you being fully out of it and walking on the water like Jesus did, having the faith to do it in a meaningful way, in a miraculous way. But no, we be, we want to be reactive and we just got enough. We just do just enough just to be able to live and survive to fight another day versus to thrive and live a 
abundantly. No, we want to be reactive instead of becoming proactive. Come on, let's go. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. <laughs> Come on, mama. Let's go do it. Let's stop pretending. Let's stop faking it. Let's start getting into it and really getting after it in a meaningful way. Come on, let's go. Let's go. We we want to react to stuff because it offended me. Now I got to react versus I got to deal with my emotions. Let me be proactive so I can deal with my emotions. I can move them out the way. And whatever you say don't matter as long as you don't touch me. If you touch me, now I got to defend myself. But no, we want to beat down people because they say words. And those words, they hurt us to the point where we feel like we have been touched. And it ain't nothing but a word. So let's be proactive and turn ourselves around in a position so we can deal with it. But no, we want to wait and be reactive. And then now I want to now it's too late. Almost it's the procrastination. It's too late. You want to react. What you reacting for? You had all this time to deal with this. You were supposed to be dealing with this a minute ago. God said, I done gave you time. I done blessed you with the ability. And now you want to do this. Look at what you, I'm going to let you go ahead and go through it. And we want to blame God. God, why'd you let me go through this? My mom and my dad hate me or I was adopted and I I was raving. I ain't saying it. I'm not laughing at that. I'm not saying that's that's not something that is serious. But God put stuff in our lives to help us heal from those situations. But we don't want to take the time to because we want to hold that anger. And then we want to blame God because it happened. God is like, look, I gave you something that's going to help you heal and allow you to use that so you can stand on, so you can help other individuals that went through. It. I wanted you to be my spokesperson for it, but you want to be pr- reactive instead of proactive. Why did you allow me to go through it? Because other people are going through it in this world and they need somebody that's going to speak it and speak it clearly. And I wanted you to have prime experience. I didn't put you through it to hurt you. I put you through it so you can be strong enough to deal with it, to help others be free from it. But you want to be reactive instead of proactive i want to be reactive instead of proactive Woo! and we want to blame god but we don't want to do the hard stuff but we want god to do everything and then give us something miraculous on top of it if you don't put no money in the bank why are you going up to the atm with your card if you don't make no proper investments why are you going up? Why would I go to the ATM or go to the bank and I tell the lady, I write my little name on a slip. Mm, can I get a thousand dollars? And the lady going to look at me and say, ma'am or sir, you, you ain't never put no money in this bank. No, this is a bank and this is where money is stored and everybody is supposed to have money. I'm supposed to, I want my money. And they're like, wait a minute, you ain't put nothing in here. What are you talking about? Same way. We want to be reactive. Now we want to do what it takes when it's about to be too late. Now we want to do what it takes when the time is ticking down. Now we want to do what it takes. Oh, God, I just love you. I thank you. I love you. I thank you. You weren't doing that when the the day was sweet. When the sun was out and everything was good, you was in the streets doing what you want to do, how you want to do it, who you want to do it with. But now when the time is running out and the, and the time is ticking, now you want to try to be proactive at a time when you only, only would have been pre, uh, reactive. And God is looking at you like you ain't putting nothing in the bank, baby. What is you doing? How am I going to give you something when you ain't even giving yourself anything meaningful? I done made you in a way that's going to help you. I done made you in a way that's going to get you right. And all you got to do is your part. I done, it, The blessings are here, but you got to do your part so you can get to what I got for you. But you don't want to do that. And then you want me to give you something like you entitled. I done already gave you life. I done already gave you the ability to do stuff. It's some people that are born with disadvantages. It's some people that are born without limbs. And some people that are born without a right mind I have given you all of these things And you mad at me because I've given it to you And now you think I deserve to give you more Are you crazy Whoa Come on let's get to it Let's get to it Oh my goodness Come on This is our time now Let's get to it 
Let's train in a meaningful way. Let's practice what we preach according to our actions. Let's get to it with, uh, with, with passion and let's work it out. Let's work it out. That's why you exercise. A lot of people exercise just to look good and fit in and say, oh, I'm this and oh, I'm that versus to being healthy and being able to be okay to overcome ailments and injuries and things of that nature. You can move and you can walk in a meaningful way. You just want to buy the machine so you can look like you're doing what everybody else do. You got the workout equipment and you got the workout uh, 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 gear and all of that stuff. You wearing the workout gear and ain't worked out a day. Oh, my goodness. You done brought all the little smoothie mix stuff and it ain't made not one smoothie. I'm a, I done did it. I remember we bought all of it. We bought we we got this ninja. I bought all this fruit, put it in the freezer. Do you know that freezer stayed in the fruit? That fruit, excuse me, that fruit stayed in the freezer for over a year. I made a couple of smoothies. I ain't going to front, but I, I bought so much and I was just telling myself, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And what did I do? I didn't do nothing. I just deal with everybody else do and telling people, yeah, I'm about to make these little mixes and make these little things. And yeah, you know, I'm working out. I'm trying to do it right. And why we went, 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 come on. What what are you going through? What what is your what is your what are, you fill in the blanks? I'm talking about me. You know you, so you can talk about you. I ain't gotta talk about you. I just know we dealing with something, and I know you know what I said. No matter what, and I meant that. No matter what, and God is letting me know. You know what? There's something coming around the corner. Are you ready? I'm saying, God, yes, because no matter what. Usually, I would have responded in this manner, but because I made sure I grounded myself and I focused on my approach, I focused on my my technique. I learned the fundamentals. I went back and started to do things in the elementary level if you will so I can relearn how to do things in a meaningful level meaningful way so I move forward into the high school level and the college level and now I have an ability to do what I need to do because the obstacle is coming and before I would respond in this way because I was reactive now I have an ability to hurdle over that thing and I'm, I'm jumping smooth over stuff now because I'm proactive and I can't even believe it and now I'm being tested in such a way that is testing my maturity testing my my emotions, testing my pain, testing my desires, and, and testing my what I say is: Are you gonna really stand up to it, and you gonna really do it? And I'm like, Yes, Lord, Yes, Lord, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. Oh, whatever it takes. Well, here's this, and here's that, and I'm just dealing with it in a meaningful way, and I'm doing what I gotta do, and I still got a ways to go. And I want to encourage somebody: You can do it too. Make the make the choice, take your responsibility, then take the choice and do it now. Stop being reactive and start being proactive start getting in the way and start practicing start knocking down them little obstacles so you can be ready for that big obstacle because the big one is coming are you ready -wee. are you ready yeah i only got to do what god purposed me to do I only want to receive what God purposed me to receive. Ain't no sense in me thinking of stuff that ain't for me. And a lot of times we, we knock ourselves out of position because we be all the way out there. God is like, I ain't even designed you for that. What you over there messing around for? Because this is what I'm supposed to be doing. What is you talking about? Huh? <sighs> I done been there. I done done that. I'm just saying, let's do what we need to do. Let's do what we need to do. Come on now. We got to overcome some stuff. We got to overcome some stuff. And we be praying to God and we uh, we going we going to use the word the word says it's going to knock the obstacle down and God said you need to deal with you first. What are you talking about? The word is going to work if you work it according to your purpose. And right now you ain't even trying to accept your purpose. So how you going to use my word as something that you ain't even doing for yourself? That obstacle ain't going nowhere until you deal with it. And once you start dealing with you, then my word is going to work for you according to your purpose. What you want to do? Don't get mad at God. Don't get mad at you. Just deal with what you got to deal with according to the obstacle that you're going through. And that one turns into two, turns into three, turns into four. And there's more waiting for you behind them too, baby. But now we got to understand how to do our part in a meaningful way so we can allow these miraculous things to happen in our life. There are obstacles that are in front of us that does take God miracle to remove it out of our life. But we are not doing what we're supposed to do according to our purpose. We 
doing what we want to do according to what we want versus according to our purpose. And we wonder why nothing has happened because we are not doing our part. We want to be God instead of submitting to God. We want to we want to make the purpose instead of submitting to our purpose. We want to be big instead of being humbled. We want to fit into the clique. We want to say, I got this and I got that. No, I got what God has for me. And if you ain't giving it to me in that way, I ain't got to worry about you, baby. That's what I'm telling myself now. That was This is what's helping me get out of my way. I could put this down. This is what's helping me get out of my way. Right now, I'm telling God, I only want what you have for me. And so I can drop all these expectations. I can. I don't have to worry about being hurt. I don't have to worry about being mistreated. I don't have to worry about being lied to. Because if God is going to give it to me, then it's going to come to me. And I ain't got to worry about nothing else. Instead of me trying to do what I got to do to make sure I get what I'm supposed to get and how I want to get it. No. If God's going to give it to me, then I'm going to get it. I ain't got to worry about it. So if God is going to give it to you, it's going to be according to your purpose. Not according to your desires. Not according to your insecurities. Not according to your doubts. Not according to your fears. Not according to your mistakes, not according to your emotions, not according to you and you and you and you. No, it's according to the purpose that God has given you and God has given me and God has given us. We are puzzle pieces that need to fit together in a meaningful way. And you don't want to fit with nobody. You want to stand out. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. No, it's us. It ain't about you no more. It ain't about you no more. You ain't the only one that's going through something. You ain't the only one that's dealing with something. You ain't the only one that's fighting. You ain't the only one that's got to make it. You ain't the only one. Stop being selfish and start learning to understand what is in front of you and what is in you. Your obstacle is in front of you and you have what it takes to get over it with that's in you and start working that thing. Woo! Excited. I'm getting excited. I'm sorry for yelling. I'm sorry for yelling. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm just a person. I'm just a person. <laughs> it's Friday. What we want to do? Come on. Let's get this thing going. We, we said we're going to make it happen. And now let's go. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's stop letting people get in our way. Let's stop letting ourselves get in our way. Let's stop letting our doubts and our insecurities get in our way. Let's stop letting our lustful, selfish desires, the gluttony, the, the, the envy, the greed, all of these things, according to those deadly sins, get in our way. Let's do what God purposed us to do. Let's stop picking and choosing what to say because this is what the word of God says and condemning other people. But we don't want to condemn ourselves and we don't want to do what we we need to do. But we want other people to do what they're supposed to do uh, to the T. We want you to do what you're supposed to do to the T so I can pick and choose what I want to do how I want to be. Mm, It don't work like that. That's not how it works. No, no, no. Let's stop hurting people because we hurt. Let's deal with what we got to deal with. There's an obstacle in our way. We got to get over it. Come on, we got what it takes. Let's go. Ooh, if I'm making you mad, that's because I'm tapping on your button and you have an obstacle to deal with according to your emotions. Let's deal with it. Huh? You ain't the only one. You not the only one. We all in this together. I got to do it. She got to do it. He got to do it. We got to do it. Let's go. Let's go. Because once you start to acknowledge what you have been given and you start embracing those things in a meaningful way, things start to happen for you. Then you can utilize God's word in such a way that will be I mean, it it will astonish people. And they'd be like, how did you do that? Because I'm doing what God has purposed me to do. I'm not sitting over here having shouting matches to let you know how much I know. I know the word this and I know the word that and I know all the stories and I know this, the Bible front and back. And I'm and I know more than you and I'm better than you and I'm blessed more than you and all of this. It's time out for that. It's time out for that. Let's go. God's word is powerful. It it, it is quick. It can't be stopped. But there's something that we need to do in order to activate that thing. You got to have the key. 
If you don't have the key to your car, your car is fast, it's quick, and it can do everything. If you do not have the key, you're not accessing it. If you don't have the key to your house, you're not getting in. If you don't have the card or the key to your bank account, you do not have access. All of these things represent the power of God and the ability to do what it needs to do. But if you do not have the key, you can forget about it. You can say all you want. You can pray all you want. But ain't nothing going to come according to what you won't because you ain't doing what you're supposed to do oh i know that hurt that hurt it mm, i heard it somebody i stepped on some toes but that's the way it goes let's go let's go let's go we done playing man we done playing we done playing i believe it i'm believing it i'm believing crazy right now my faith is growing and growing and growing and growing and i want somebody to be encouraged and i want to let somebody know if you start embracing those areas in your life those hurt areas those difficult areas those th that pain you allow that process to start the healing process uh-huh uh-huh the forgiveness process and the unifying process according to god's agape love things are going to happen for you in a meaningful way but we got to stop fronting and we got to stop stunting and we got to stop flexing on each other and hurting each other and getting beating each other down and doing all this stuff judging each other we got to stop we have to stop and we got to deal with our own mess we got to deal with our own mess we got to deal with our own mess and love each other and be grateful that we have life people are man the big trend right now, and I'm so glad it's over. I can't wait to see what the next trend is. You know this voting thing? Everybody's just so caught up in the voting and looking at the counting the votes. Like they're like they going to do something in a meaningful way. You ain't going to do nothing in a meaningful way. What is you doing but, but trying to be in with the trends? Oh, I care about voting. A month or two from now, you're going to be doing everything against what you voted for or who you voted for or what you said you believe in this person. You're going to change your mind and you're going to jump on the next trend. Let's stop. Because it's another trend coming. Another trend is coming and everybody's going to be talking all big and bad because they want to say that they they've been on this and they've been on that. And that's this is what I, I've been doing this. And, I, and yeah, you was on the last trend and it's against this trend and the next trend is going to be against that trend. So let's do what we're supposed to do according to our purpose. Let's do what we're supposed to do according to our purpose because the people have the power. The man that's in office is going to do what he's supposed to do according to the politics. Look up the word politics and understand that policies are designed to be against the purpose that God has for us. So I, I choose purpose over politics, purpose over policies, purpose over president. What you choose? Because you're playing yourself. That's up to you. I'm going to say it, but it's up to you. I ain't dissing you. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. You want to be a trend hopper? You can do it. Hey, it is what it is. You know how people do on Facebook? All they do is talk about their problems on Facebook in public, but don't do nothing about it in real life. You understand what that? What I mean? You know how people, oh, she this and oh, he that. We talking about all this stuff. Oh, we just typing all this stuff. Oh, type, 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 type. But in real life, and real life we're not doing nothing about it all we're doing is going through the motions so what we want to do what we want to do we got to we got to break it down now to a practical level we, we got to go back to elementary and we got to understand that, listen, I have to find out my purpose and I have to be able to embrace it in a meaningful way. Embrace life's instincts to evolve. We don't embrace. What does it mean to be elite? It means to understand who I am according to my purpose that God has given me so I can do what he has called me to do. So I can make sure that I make what happened. He has called me to make happen according to his word, according to his purpose, his will, his nature and his spirit. I have the ability, the functionality. Now I have to unlock and use the key to unlock it and it starts with us we got to stop with all of our junk and putting it in front of us and, and just swinging it around like a pendulum and knocking people down boom boom boom, boom. i got problems boom, boom 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 i got problems and killing people we're hurting people we're damaging people we're we're scarring people we're teaching people how to be evil and and, and mean like us versus giving people the love that they need so they can heal in a meaningful way and they can spread that out let me let me let me stop let me slow down let me stop i'm sorry 
for yelling. I'm not sorry for what I said. I'm sorry for yelling. <laughs> I'm not sorry for what I said. I'm star I'm sorry for yelling. You know, if if you want to do that, that's what you want to do, but I want to challenge you. You don't have to this is just only this is a challenge. This is something that you can receive. It's your choice. If if you don't like it, you can do what you you know normally do. Swoop on past it like most people do. There's some people that are honestly paying attention, and I'm here for you. If it's just one of us, then this is what we're gonna do. And I appreciate God for cementing me in faith and letting me know that God is in control. He, God is in control. Listen, I'm not playing with you. God, I'm not playing with me neither. God is in control. But you need to understand how to understand that. And you can't understand that if you don't even embrace yourself. You have life and you have been breathed the breath of life directly from God and have all these capabilities and functionalities. And you can't accept and receive yourself. How are you going to accept and receive God? How are you going to accept and receive Jesus? You don't even know who you are. You don't even accept who you are. How are you going to receive the powerfulness of his word? God's word is like a, 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 a nuclear mass weapon of destruction. If you don't know who you are, you ain't going to do nothing but wipe everybody out with it. Let's understand something. Let's understand something. Let's start right where we are. Right where we are. Let's stop fronting. Stop stunting. Stop pretending. Stop grinning to make it seem like we winning. Eh, I'm okay. I am all right. You know how we do. We want to front and no, I'm I'm hurt. Let's let's just be real. I'm hurt. I am hurt. I, I'm, I'm in pain. I'm broken up in pieces. Whatever it is that we are right now, I am insecure. I, I have doubts. Let's start right where they're at. Right, 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 right there. I am hurt. Those are the obstacles that we need to overcome. And once we learn to embrace and understand, all right, I need to face this in a meaningful way. God starts to activate something in us according to our purpose so that we can move past it. And then things start to happen. Whoo! Man, oh man, boy, 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 I tell you. Mm -mm -mm. So let's stop with the fake love. I'm done after this. I done went past the time, but God took over and he gonna do his thing. I'm not tripping off of it no more. Let's stop with the fake love. Let's stop with it. Let's stop. Let's be for real. Let's be for real. Let's be for real. You can't give love to somebody when you don't even love yourself. You can't say you love somebody in a in a meaningful way and, and you don't even love yourself. You can't support nobody in a meaningful way where you don't even support the purpose God has given you. You can't do anything according to power if you don't embrace the power that God has given you. Come on, let's confess. There you go, sis. Let's start where we are and let's understand, okay, this is what I'm dealing with. Because we want you to look at the good. But you keep on spilling out in your actions all of the bad that you're going through. You, you, you want us to know, oh, I'm happy. I got the job. You know, I got the career. I got the husband. I got the wife. I got the this. I got the dad. But the actions in our lives only spew out what we really are have, what we, what the position, the disposition that we really have. And it's like, dang, you happy, but why is you so mean all the time? I thought you was happy. Why, is you, what, why, why can't nobody say nothing to you? Why can't nobody connect with you in a meaningful way? Why you always got to be right? Why you ain't never wrong? What's up with that? Let's, let's ask some meaningful questions here. Come on. Let's be serious. Let's, let's, do, the, let's do what we got to do, y'all. Let's go. Let's conclude this thing in a meaningful way. It's Friday. The weekend is coming. God has blessed us with amazing weather. He's been shining on us in, in a meaningful way. We caught up in all the wrong things. We caught up in all the wrong stuff. We get swooped by this trend and swooped by that trend. And we, we talking about, oh, oh, we this and oh, whatever it is. Let's just look at what we need to do according to the purpose that God has given us. Hoo-wee. It's all to the good. It's all to the good. You have what it takes. Now it's time to get to it and do it. You got work to do. I got work to do. We got work to do. We looking for God to do some miraculous things, but if we don't do our part, then it ain't going to never happen. He has already stored it up and it's ready for us. All we got to do is our part. All we got to do is our part. 
Come on, I've been at. Come on, y'all ain't tag no tag somebody and let them know. Share this with somebody and tell somebody else to share this. Let it let it be known. Let's let the word word get out. Cause this is what I can. This is I'm doing my part. We're doing our part right here from this this from this position. Right here, we gonna do our part right here. This is what we gonna do. This is what we're going to do. We're not playing around no more. We're not. And God ain't playing with us. So I'm done playing with myself. No, I'm done messing around. Oh, that's this. And I'm done whining. I'm done complaining. I'm done talking about people and not talking about myself. I'm done uh, 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 doing all the unnecessary gossiping. I'm done doing all the unnecessary choices that's going to hurt me. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I, don't, I'm, I'm, I ain't got time no more with it. I want to connect with people in a meaningful way. I have isolated myself to the point where I don't even know how to connect with people because I always think they ain't got nothing any good for me. All they want to do is use me. I still will do anything for you according to my purpose. If I can do it for you, I'm going to do it. But I'm like, God, connect me with people that care. Connect with the people that's going to love me, that's going to pour into me, that's going to help me, that's going to guide me, that's going to push me. Please, God, I need you. And I'm not saying I don't got nobody in my life that is helping me right now, but I'm talking about all the way 100%. Come on now. I'm, I don't want to be pushed in the corner and you use me when you want to use me and you put me away when, you, when, it's, when you're done. No, I'm talking about 100%. Let's go. I'm dealing with me, too. I'm going to let it be known. I'm dealing with me, too. You're not the only one. I have to get over some stuff, and I'm learning to get over it in a meaningful way. And now I'm starting from where I'm at. Yeah, I've been hurt. I've been disappointed. I've been let down. I've been my, I've been betrayed. I've been thrown away, and it has put me at a disadvantage because I, now I feel so guarded. But now I'm going to open up and let God do what he needs to do, and I challenge you to do the same. I ain't got time to be fronting and pretending like, oh, God has done. Yeah, God has done some miraculous stuff in my life, but I need to understand and recognize that I need to, his power so I can start understanding my purpose, so I can start healing and start forgiving and start coming together with myself. Yeah, God is good, and I'm grateful, but I'm still going through it. Just because I'm here, don't listen. I remember I can tell you plenty of stories a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. I was broken. I'm talking about broken. And you don't think that now you think I'm whole? No, you just see the glue is starting to dry. He's putting me together and the glue is starting to dry. I'm going to just tell it like it is. However you do what you do, that's how you do over here, this is what we do. We trying to go elite. That's it. If you with it, you with it. If you're not, you're not. It's all good. We ain't tripping. We have nothing against you because you have the power of choice. You have a responsibility to make a choice. And you have a choice according to your purpose. If it fits you, boom, you in there. You don't, you don't be mad because all the shoes in the shoe department don't fit you. You go to the size that fits you and you look up and down in terms of your choice and your selection. You make a choice. You put it on. You try it on. You fit it. You good. You buy it. You with it. You go. It's, it's enough room for everybody, baby. Hey, come on. God is doing something. I ain't afraid no more. I ain't embarrassed. No, I, no. Listen, that ain't where my pride stands. My pride don't stand there. Nope. You can talk about me. You can bring up some old stuff because you're going to have to do that. You can do whatever you need to do. But you know what? I'm not playing no matter what. And now I'm looking at these obstacles that has been in my way for so long. And I'm like, yeah, I'm ready for you, baby. Yeah, it's some big ones that I got to face. They big than the mug. And I've been knocking some down, but it's some that's over there on the way. And God is preparing me. So I want to let you know to get prepared to. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, no matter what. Let's make it happen. You got what it takes. I got what it takes. Come on, let's learn, let's grow, and let's advance in a meaningful way according to our purpose. Not according to our desires, not according to our insecurities, not according to our doubts, not according to our emotions, not according to uh, me, 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 me. No, no, according to our purpose. There's a difference. Because we have what it takes. And we 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 gonna stop doing the same thing, going around and going around and going around and going around and go. Come on, let's go. And I know that God has p 
put play somebody even on this broadcast or watching this video and they're gonna say man i don't usually watch this stuff i don't usually listen to this stuff but he's talking about me he talking about something I've been thinking about and dealing with. I trust God in that. And I believe we're going to connect in a meaningful way. That's it. That's it. That's it. It ain't about what I think should happen. And it's showing about what you think should happen. It's about what God purposed to happen. He has already predestined this to happen. He knew it was going to be here. He knew it. I was dreaming about it then. But now I'm here and I'm recognizing he's letting me know, hey, man, you know what? You're going to be okay. And I'm letting somebody know right now there's something you're dreaming about. And you see it. You envision it in your mind. And God is saying, I'm guiding you to it. I'm giving you the necessary information that will help you embrace your purpose so you can be in a position to do what it is that you know you see. Because it's going to come to life. I have given it to you for a reason. Now it's your time to do your part. Let's make it happen. And let's stay on track. All right? I'm <laughs> Yeah, I ain't even tripping. Yeah, I'm man, it's, it's ten o'clock, man. It, I'm an hour and something. You know what I'm saying? But we good. We good. God doing his thing. He's dealing with us. I appreciate everybody that has stayed on the broadcast. Man, you don't know. You don't know, man. You you guys that are connecting with us, man, it, it's it's helping us in a meaningful way. We 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 thank God for you, and we know that you know we we know that our purpose is, is for us. You know, we we know. We know, and it's all right. You you got to start somewhere. I remember when I was too ashamed to speak on some things that I'm speaking on now. I was ashamed. I'm telling you, I was embarrassed. I was insecure. And it took time for God to deal with me to get me to this point. So don't look at me and be like, oh, well, he, no, no, no. Listen, just do what you need to do where you at right now. Don't trip. You're going to be able to do it, too. You got what it takes. You got that energy. You be ready to fight. You be ready to rumble. You be ready to thump. When somebody cross you and you got it. So that same energy you use to be able to speak what it is that you know is according to your purpose and be able to go after it in a meaningful way according to your actions. <laughs> it's a process. Yes, sis. Talk to him. It's a process. It takes time. Woo! That's why God gives us time. He's giving it to us so we can have the ability to go through it in a meaningful way. And he don't just dump it all on us at once. And then, blah, blah, blah. no, he has to be able to show some things to us. And we have to be able to receive some things. And some things have to be mixed up. Some things have to be ejected. Some things have to be injected. And stuff has to happen. And that's what we have to do in according to our part. Our part is to be able to just just concentrate on that, manage that, focus on that, so we can open the doors to our purpose. Woo mm -mm -mm. And I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm God is building me right here before your very eyes. I'm going through training right now. God has let me know that He is my number one mentor. God is my mentor. I was looking for people to connect with, to show me things, to teach me things, to give me things. God, God, why I can't connect with nobody? And God said, look, son, check this out. I'm going to do it for you so nobody can say that they did it. And then I'm going to connect. I'm still going to connect you with some people. Don't you trip. But you keep doing what you're doing. You keep utilizing what I have given you. And you be earnest and you be faithful with that. And you just watch. You in school right now. So it's like, all right, cool. Bet. Bet it up, bet. Whoever I'm connected to now, I appreciate you, and I thank God for you because you have helped me in a meaningful way, and there's more to come. And I want to let you know that, listen, this is not the end, but this is the beginning for you and for me. We just got to make a choice. Mm, mm, mm. That's how I felt. I'd be like, man, why ain't got what other people got? And why ain't doing what other people doing? Why ain't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't, you know, I ain't got the, you know, the, the, the relationships, the friendships, the bonds, and, the, you know, we ain't tight and all that. I don't got none of that. I got my family, and I got the people that I'm connected to, according to my church family, and then I got you guys here, and that's that's it. Here we, here we are. This is it. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. I ain't missing nothing. But I be, I be looking like, dang, why I can't get it like that? 
why why not me what's wrong with me and god is saying jay check it out jonathan sir stop i'm giving you what you need directly from me what you want what's better than god i said whoa you're right <laughs> what's better than god I, nothing i can't think of nothing well amen hallelujah I receive. <laughs> Let's go. And God is speaking to you in that same manner. You looking like, what about me? Why not me? God, what's up? And God is saying, I'm connecting directly to you because I have been trusted people to do their job. And at this climate of time in 2020 and beyond, now they have been readjusted, recalibrated, and reshifted. And now I'm connecting directly with my people according to my spirit, my will, and my, my, my nature. And you ain't got to worry about that no more you just trust in me and God is telling you this he ain't the only one I ain't the only one he's connecting with in a meaningful way you looking and you thinking and you wondering what's wrong with me and God is saying it ain't nothing wrong with you it's because I have chosen you Ooh, many are called but few are chosen and you are part of the chosen crew <laughs> oh yeah they don't like that they don't like that because they look at us and they mad because we have the boldness to stand and say what we feel and what we think and they think we're supposed to do it in their way but they don't want to do it in their way on their own so god is letting them know either you're gonna do it the way that you're supposed to do it or it ain't gonna be done and right now god has chosen you he's chosen me he's chosen us to to learn some things in a meaningful way because he needs us in this time to help each other and one another and others this ain't no play play mm -mm. yeah we getting things done <laughs> i ain't worried about it no more i'm not tripping off of the little stuff no more i'm telling you i would be tripping i would be oh i'll be blowing my mind up and i'm trying to do this and i'm trying to do that no he said just do what you're supposed to do according to the pace that i've given you you ain't got to do no more you ain't got to do no less you just stay right in that pocket you stay right in that pocket and i'm like yes lord you right cool bet bet it up i don't care if one person watch but god has blessed me with many people watching if you if it's the numbers have reached over a hundred and i'm like dang how is this happening god is saying i'm doing it we have not paid for not one not, we have not paid for not one sponsorship in terms of it uh boosting or whatever we ain't not one and god is saying don't trip watch what i do watch what i do just wait for it. They, listen, they're going to they gonna start falling off. They're going to come on and they're going to some is going to come on just to say they did it. Some are going to be going because they with it. And then you watch what I do. And I'm saying, God, I praise you. God, I thank you. God, I was, I, I'm waiting for you. I thank you. Yeah. And we're going to watch him. We're going to watch him. He's working in my life. He's working in my marriage. He's working in my family. He's. He's working now in our ministry. He's working in the, the ministry that we're attached to according to the, the gift of life. He's working in all of these areas. And I'm seeing do him, him do all these miraculous things. He's working and working. He's fixing and turning and churning. And he's making room for the blessing that he's going to give us. <laughs> And now I'm understanding he's making room for the blessing that he's going to give you. He's trying to get it to you. And you're doing the right thing. Your heart is in the right place. You've been doing what you need to do according. You don't think you've been doing a good job. I want to let you know God is telling you if you own this broadcast and you have an earnest heart and you've been asking God, am I doing the right thing? Yes, he wants you to know. Yes, you are doing the right thing. Keep doing what you've been doing and make sure you start picking it up according to what you need to do and you stay right in that groove you stay right in that pace you ain't got to worry about nothing he is going to keep you he's going to protect you he is going to provide for you everything that you think you missed out on he's going to give you them people said this them people said that but don't worry about that because people don't have no power god has all the power god has the final say and you may not even believe in god right now but you're starting to get confirmation in your life and then according to your spirit and you're starting to receive and say dang this thing may be working for me i didn't think i could i didn't even never know how to pray you ain't got to understand none of that all you got to understand is that you have a pure heart and he's guiding you to someone that's going to teach you how to pray you you thought you had to learn the word front and back 
up and down. You had to praise God, fall out, roll on the floor, and get back up and praise God again. And if you didn't do that, you weren't blessed. But God said, no, 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 no. You are blessed, and I love you. You are favored. You are chosen. Don't you believe that stuff, that religious stuff? Let it go. Let it go and let God. Oh, it's a new season. Uh oh, I'm saying it now. It's a new day. <laughs> that fresh anointing, yeah, is flowing my way. Come on, yeah, this is the season of power, and he's letting you know that he's in charge. He has the final say. People are gonna do what they want to do in my name, and they just doing it in vain. But I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do in you, and you're gonna be the unlikely candidate. I'm gonna be the unlikely candidate we do not fit the description the way that it has been established through time to this point in time but now he's doing a new thing <laughs> Woo! yeah come into me <laughs> it's a new season mm -mm -mm. That's the praise and worship. That's it. We're good. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> listen, man. Listen. Listen. God has something for all of us. He has something for all of us. And we just got to be willing to do our part. We got to be willing to do our part. You did. We we can't be playing around no more. We got to take some, we gotta take some self assessments and recognize okay, what do I want to do? You can be, you may be a teenager. Hey, tag some of your teenage people that's on, that's on Facebook. Tag them. You may be a, a middle-aged, you know, young adult. You, you, you know, you're in your 20s going into your 30s. You may be a middle-aged adult like myself in my 30s going into my 40s. You may be an a, a aging adult in your 40s going into your 50s. You may be a seasoned adult. Whatever you are, wherever you are, listen, God is doing amazing new things according to his purpose. And it don't matter who you are, where you are, if you're male or female, single, married, divorced, widowed, bankrupt, whatever, 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 however it is, you don't fit into the criteria of society, your family, you, you, you don't stand up to none of the expectations, but you meet God's, you meet God's purpose, and he's using you. He's going to use your unique situation. He's going to use your unique experiences to help somebody else, and you just keep on embracing it. You keep on embracing it. Don't be ashamed no more. Don't be afraid no more. Embrace it in a meaningful way, because God is going to use that thing. There are people, I'm talking talking about millions by the hundreds of millions by the billions of people that are going to be impacted and infected by you doing what you're supposed to do you're going to change the world you're going to change the world i'm telling you embrace it thank you baby Woo! man we're going out with a bang it's friday we're gonna see you on monday we're coming back on monday Coming back on Monday. Listen, that's the new broadcast schedule. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're going live. We're going to do this. We're connecting in a, meaning, in a meaningful way. Come on. We're going to do this. We're going to keep at it. We're going to stay on track. And that's the theme of each week. Make it happen. And we started on Monday. And on Sunday, we, we go through that assessment and say, all right, it's time to do it again. And we're going to keep on going. We're going to keep on going. We're not going to stop. We're not going to give up. We're not going to quit. And we done already said no matter what, we with it. If you said that, come on, let's do it. Come on, let's do it. We ain't doing this for, for clout. We ain't doing this for fame. We ain't doing this so people can know our name. That's a rap lyric, by the way. A gospel rap lyric, too. Ha, ha, ha. I forgot who was that. Who said that? Do it. Uh, uh, I think it was Lecrae or The Truth, one of them. But anyway, we doing this because God has purposed us to connect with people that need it. Listen, they need it. It's, it's a lot of people hurting, and I'm seeing more stuff about mental health. And listen, this is how we heal our mentality so we can focus in a meaningful way according to our purpose. And there's processes that we got to go through. There's things that we have to do. And check this out. We got it. We got stopping. Stop hating. I can sing. Shoot. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, I can say. And there's things that we got to do according to our purpose. I appreciate everybody, y'all, man. Y'all been so great. Yeah, man, God is faithful, and I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for tuning into the broadcast for those that stayed on the entire time. Man, well, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That is what's up, man. We appreciate y'all. We thank you guys for sharing, commenting, liking our page. You know, go tell somebody to come, come like the page, man. 
Come like, tell them, tell them, hey, man, they doing something over there. Something is happening over there. Tell them to jump on in while they can. I'm telling you, God is about to move us in a meaningful way. Yeah, we on the way. We Hey, listen, God is going to do it, and you're going to watch. I'm watching right now. I'm looking like, dang, look at God do this thing. And so right now, there's somebody that said, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to face these obstacles. Let's go. Let's say this prayer. This is how you receive. Come on, this is how you receive. And listen, you said, you was like, well, they, they supposed to do this and they supposed to do that. You just listen to what God is telling you to do. Let's say this prayer with me. You ain't got to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? You just got to receive him. That's it. You just got to receive him. And watch what God does for you. You receive his son, Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior. And you watch what God does for you. You saying you got to do this and you got to do that. And all these excuses, but you ready. You ready. And let's say this prayer with me. Say this prayer with me, and we are going to watch God do it. I'm telling you, because listen, the choice is yours. It's it's what you want to do. What you want to do? God ain't forcing you to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Either you're gonna make it happen and do it, or you're not. And you're gonna go with what you feel is working for you. Hey, if it works for you, hey, go with it. Go with it in the peace, and I pray God's blessing upon you. And if you feel like this is for you right now, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. They talking about my singing. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get this thing going. Come on. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Let's say this prayer. Say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I need you. I ask that you cleanse me and make me whole. I open the doors of my heart and receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for giving, for forgiving me of my sins and giving me eternal life. Guide me towards my purpose. Activate the change in me. In your name we pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Boom. Just like that. Straight up. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, they're going to tell you something else. But we're going to tell you the truth. It's just like that. You got work to do. You got work to do. We got work to do. Together, we got work to do. We got work to do in terms of us as individuals. We got work to do in terms of us in our families. We got work to do in terms of us in our communities. We got work to do together. We got. You may be in a different state. You may not be in Iowa. You may be in Minnesota. You may be in Illinois. You may be in California. You may be uh, in Missouri. You may be in uh, 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 in Nebraska. You may be in a whole different state. We've been watching the map up on the, up on the uh, news channels. Look at all of them states talking about the voting and all of this and the power of the people and they they manipulating your understanding right now. Let's 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 learn to come together. According to our purpose, not according to a president or a policy. Yeah, those things do have an effect, but they do not trump what God has purposed. Oh, you hear that? That was a little, little, little. They do not trump what God has purposed because the, their will does not bide in us according to what God has purposed us to do. Wow, I just made a little punt. What? <laughs> yeah, they can't do it. It don't matter. They can't trump us. They can't bite in us. All they can do is try to distract us because we have the power. According to my, what you say, I had three interviews yesterday. Pray for that. Yes. Thank you, God. Yeah. Receive what God has for you according to those positions. Yes. And we listen. Keep hey, keep going, sis. Keep going. You keep going from wherever you at. You keep going. And whoever you are also that is listening to this. I'm talking to my sis on the, on the, on the comments or, or, or one of our um, one of our staff members. E, yeah. But whoever you are, wherever you are, you keep going. We want to connect with you in a meaningful way. And listen, go visit our website. Go download the app if you haven't already. All the information is in our comment section or in the caption excuse me and so go check that out we're you know we're working on some things diligently we're we're tweaking some things we, we, we man we gotta we, we 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 really gotta trust god and that's what we're doing we're trusting god he we put we jumped out on faith and he's he's like listen i'm gonna honor the, the, the only way you please god is if you show him the level of faith in terms of your commitment to believing in in, in your purpose and that's what we're doing. We're looking. We, hey, we're going to do it. And you're going to watch God do it. It ain't me doing it. It ain't my wife doing it. It ain't the staff doing it. we just allowing God's purpose to do it through us. I'm telling you, you watch what happens. You watch us go elite. 
I'm telling you, you watch us go elite. So we thank you. We appreciate you. And because of you, we're going to go elite. Because you share, because you comment, because you like the page, you invite others. We appreciate that. We appreciate that. We appreciate that. We got three winners. It's uh, Sister Charlene, uh, Ty Nairn. And, and Ruth and Jean Dixon, we got three winners. We got some gifts for you. Be on the lookout for that. We got some gifts for you. We appreciate you for posting that you got the app with the picture. We got the three winners. And be on the lookout for some more giveaways that we're going to have in the future. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to connect in a meaningful way. We ain't going to stop. Not going to stop. We're not going to stop. God is good. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Oh, I can't say that enough. We can't do this without you. You are making this happen. We thank God for purposing us to do it. And now God is honoring our purpose according to what you're responding to us in a meaningful way according to our content our memes and everything that we have established according to the presentation that we have set up for you guys it's all about our purpose and it's all about us connecting in a meaningful way so we can learn grow and advance according to our purpose and let's continue to strive to go elite embrace life's instincts to evolve and right now let's embrace what it is that we need to do according to our purpose so we can move on to the next steps y'all with me thank you Woo wee, boy i can say it i can see it i can see it and now we're gonna pray we're gonna pray yeah, we're going to pray. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Dixon, we got you. You you one of our winners. We got you. We, we got we got a gift for you. Uh, we got a gift for Sister Charlene. We got a gift for Ty Nairn. We appreciate you guys for participating. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We do not count it as lightly. Light. We don't take it lightly, but we take it seriously. And we know that you could have chosen to do anything with your time, but you've chosen to connect with us. And I appreciate it. We appreciate it. And we want to show our appreciation and, and, and to get you your gift. Yes, on the way. And we're going to pray. We ain't done. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Yeah, yeah. We're going to pray. Woo, woo. We're going to pray. Yeah, yeah. We're going to pray. Woo, 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 woo. God is good. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you right now, Father God. We thank you for your purpose. We thank you for life, Father God. We thank you for your will. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your nature. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray right now for the families of the individuals that may have lost someone on this day, on this right now, in this moment, Father God, on this week, Father God, maybe in this year, maybe within this lifetime. We pray that your spirit, Father God, will go out and comfort them, give them peace, give them joy, give them understanding according to your will, Father God, to hold them, Father God, in this, in this sensitive time, Father God, in the mourning process. We thank you, Father God for your spirit we thank you for keeping them and holding them we thank you father god for allowing them to see that you have them in this moment right now father god we just pray right now father god that you uh, uh, uh forgive us father god those of us right now on this live feed on the broadcast those of us that may watch the video those of us father god that are standing in the gap for others we pray you forgive us right now in the name of jesus father god for anything that we've done against your will and against our purpose that you have given us anything we've done against anyone else father god and anything that anyone else has done that we have done against anyone else that we pray that they forgive us father god in the same way that you forgive us we pray right now father god that you continue to activate our purpose according to your will father god your spirit and your nature right now we stand in the gap father god for our people father god that are on our prayer list mother lucy father god and mother lily father god we pray that your will be done father god right now father god we pray for pastor daphne we pray for uh reverend fletcher father god we pray for our sister raquel and her and uh, um, the process that she needs to go through in her healing we pray uh, for our sister erica right now she has uh three job interviews and we pray whatever one that you have purposed her to have father god according to the season in her life we pray it to be so we thank you father god Father God, for um, right now touching our, our family, Father God, our Aunt Roxanne right now in the healing process. We thank you, Father God, for touching Brother Marcus, Father God, in his healing process as well. We thank you right now, Father God, for everything that you're doing that we can't even understand and imagine that is coming our way, that is going to help us, Father God. And as long as we understand to do our part and do what we're purposed to do and accept and receive that, you are going to always bless us according to the things that you have given us already and that all we have to do is do what we need to do to get towards it get to it to receive it we pray right now that your spirit moves on the behalf of these your people father god that are on the broadcast or maybe they're watching this video at any time father god we thank you father god for them we thank you father god for their obedience we thank you father god for them being uh uh, uh 
taken the time out to connect with us, Father God. You have given them all free will to do anything, but they have chosen to do this with us in this time, Father God, to learn with us, to grow with us, and to advance with us. We appreciate them and let them know, Father God, we can't do it without them and we can't do it without you, Father God, purposing it in, in on their hearts and them listening according to your will. We thank you right now. Touch us, keep us, protect us, Father God, on, these, on this day to come and on the weekend, Father God. Allow us to be able to do what we need to do to uh, stand up to those obstacles. Allow us to be able to uh, stand, Father God, according to our purpose and recognize and analyze and move forward in action to do what you have called us to do and we thank you right now for, for all of your blessings we're so grateful for life, we're so grateful for time, we're so grateful for all the mistakes, we're so grateful for the hurt we're so grateful for the pain, we're so grateful for the beautiful things, the ugly things the miraculous things, the blessings we're grateful for everything and we thank you right now Father God, we ask that you touch us and keep us and until we meet again on Monday, on this weekend Father God, allow us to have uh, Father God an amazing time time and especially where we are right now in Iowa and Waterloo to enjoy this weather weather we pray right now over the city we pray that no hurt harm and danger happens over this weekend father God we pray that there is peace that there is love and there is joy in the name of Jesus we pray we speak life according to your will your nature and your spirit in Jesus name we pray amen amen and amen man I tell you I ain't gonna front I was trying to be good, and God took on over, and he was talking some stuff. Don't blame me. If you want to blame anybody, blame God, but I don't see how that's going to help. <laughs> how far are you going to get with that, Jack? <laughs> yeah, so we appreciate you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Have a beautiful weekend. Continue to uh, be grateful. Have a great attitude. You know, you the attitude portion is just gratitude. You have gratitude, and it's going to adjust your attitude in a meaningful way. Don't trip. Don't worry. Don't complain. Just stay purposed. Stay, stay grounded. Stay rooted. And God's going to do it. We will see you again on the broadcast on Monday morning where we're going to begin a new week, if the Lord says the same, to make it happen. Because that's what we're going to do. And that's where we're going to stick to. And that's what we're going to commit to. Let's learn. Let's grow. Let's advance. Let's do what we're purposed to do. And remember, go elite. We thank you. We love you. Peace. Have a beautiful weekend. And a blessed one. Yeah.